Hello everybody and welcome to NCAA action. We have the LSU Tigers taking on the Norfolk State Spartans. The home Spartans have three user players and a new user player in Nigel Hambone. The other two, Ben Adams and Grease Lightning. And they have two AI players, Wilcox and I think his name was Manis. There it is, yeah, Manis. And going up for the pull-up shot, no good from Lightning. And now the newest players from LSU. We just saw him with the ball. We have Elijah Hawkins. And Gerald Moss who pulls up for the three, no good. And it's gonna be a jump ball. Moss and Adams having a jump ball here. The other AI players for LSU, Desmond Hardy, Cole Poole, and Ken Longley. Grease Lightning with the ball. It's a Demanis, gets it down to Hambone. Hambone goes up strong through the contact, no good, rebound Longley. Hawkins with the ball. Hardy. Tries to go up over the big man, no good. Manis' defense too good down low. And they finally get it in on the third attempt. LSU is the first on the board. And through the contact, gets blocked from behind. Wilcox gets it and he gets fouled. He's gonna have two shots at the line. And as you see, this LSU team has two user players. They are the guard duo. They are our newest players. And they have been very interesting to see before we have them have their first game with their builds. Personally, I think they can do very well together and we're gonna get our first chance to see that here. Get it to Longley. And that is something about both of these two players. Both of these guards are very unselfish. I'm gonna expect to see a lot of LSU players touch the ball all game constantly moving this rock around. And there's the cut and the slam. LSU up four to one now. Norfolk has not seen a bucket made yet. Grease their team's facilitator. Gets it to Hambone. Hambone thinks about it, passes out. Gets it to Adams, he's their shooter. Steps back, that shot's no good. Rebound Gerald Moss. Moss goes up strong, no good on the layup. Ben Adams on the other end. Gets by him, lays it up and in, and the first bucket is in finally for Norfolk State. Hawkins driving. Gets blocked on the way down from Hambone. Stayed in the air forever. And the block on the other end. Rebound and put back up and in by Wilcox. Moss. Hands it off to Elijah Hawkins. Floater, no good. Ben Adams with the ball, loses it. Hawkins has it, in transition, LSU. Finds a man down low, that's no good. Rebounded by Norfolk State. Norfolk State in transition now. Lightning, shoots, in and out, rebound Longley. Neither of these teams able to find many open shots so far. Longley has the ball. Trying to take it on Wilcox. Gets the pass out to the corner. Eli has it, gets it to Moss. Hardy, back to Moss. Shoots the three with no time left. That's in and out. 
Rebound Wilcox. Almost threw that pass away. That could have been easy points for LSU. And on the other end, Hambone has it in up off the glass. Timeout, Tigers. Tigers started out with a 4-1 lead and have allowed a 6-0 since then. They're going to have to call a timeout, try to work things out, try to find their rhythm, draw up a play to get them into a groove. And we have Hawkins bringing it up now. Hawkins waiting for the play to develop. Gets a screen, has space, goes to the rim, slams it down with one hand. Patience led to that dunk from Elijah Hawkins. A young point guard very early into his career. Seems very disciplined so far. Green up top, losing the ball. Wilcox has it, Lightning has it now in transition. Gets it to Hambone, he's one on one. Goes up off the glass and no good. Opportunity missed there for the Norfolk State Spartans to take an even bigger lead. And the rebound put up and in by Cole Poole. Spartans now struggling on offense. LSU looking like they're getting some momentum in transition. Good find from Moss. Gets it to Hardy for the lay-in. Greece. This team hasn't scored in a little while now since that timeout. And they're going to hold for the last shot. Four seconds left, the turnaround. No good, rebound LSU. They're not gonna shoot the shot up and they're gonna go into the second quarter with a three point lead. We've had a close game here so far. Good defense, we've seen steals and blocks. And so far it looks like whatever team can catch fire might be able to pull away with this one. So far back and forth momentum wise. Elijah Hawkins. Now Gerald Moss has it. Going straight to the rim. He saw the opening and he dove at it. Two hand jam. And now we see the 8 0 run ended by Nigel Hambone with one hand. Immediately on the other end. Moss with the ball again. Cool hooks, no good. Hambone. It's it to Adams for three. No good. And the foul there. Longley has it in the corner. Gets it to Hardy. Now to Elijah. Probably waiting for that screen to come. Nothing there. They don't have anything set up. He's going to have to force up this three. And just a lack of awareness by the offense there. Spartans have the ball now. Reese Lightning with it. Driving. Thinks otherwise. Has some space. Doesn't pop it. Drives by. Pulls up. The short jumper's no good. Hambone has it, though. Gets fouled on the way up by Hardy. That's two shots at the line for Nigel. First one is up, and it is good. So is the second. Just a one-point deficit for these Spartans now. Hawkins, waiting, going baseline, fakes, gets it to his big man, 
No good. Rebounded by Poole, though. Gets it back out to Hawkins. Now to Hardy. Longley. Throws up strong. No good. Ben Adams steps back. Doesn't shoot it there. I think he saw the closeout coming. Hambone lays it in off the glass. Ended up being a good decision as the Spartans take the lead now. Hawkins driving, almost lost it, found the man. He had the step, he gets fouled from behind. No assist for Eli, but we have two free throws coming. The first one misses. And so does the second one. So it ended up being a good foul for the Spartans. Adams. No good on the layup attempt. Throws the ball away. Not, nope. Regained by the Tigers. Hawkins gets the screen. Finds a man in the corner. He got closed out hard by Ben Adams. He saw that one coming. Hawkins wants to drive towards the rim. Gets it to Longley. No good. Longley gets that rebound again. Can't put it up. These big men struggling to put in these putbacks. Now we have the jumper, no good from Manis, rebounded by Poole. Rebounded by Hambone, in transition. Norfolk State might have numbers, mid-range, no good. Hambone has been aggressive in transition, and it has been interesting to see. He's a speedy guy for his size. He can turn on the Jets. Rebound Longley puts it back up and in. His struggle's finally over, uh, making a putback finally. Three for Hambone, no good, and he has the ability to make those. Hambone loves to attack the rim, but that three is definitely in his arsenal. Gets it to Hawkins, waiting for a screen. Takes the mid-range shot off the glass and in. Beautiful shot from Elijah Hawkins. Ben Adams being guarded by Moss. Drives by him, no good off the back iron. Moss in transition. Thought the skip pass was a little bit risky, gonna slow it down. Trying to find an open cut to the rim, and there might have been one, but there was an illegal screen on the play, and it's going to be Norfolk State's ball. Going up strong to the rim is Wilcox, no good, rebound Longley. Hardy with the ball. Finds Moss, corner, no good off the back iron. And those shots are gonna start going down for some of these newer players when they start getting their badges and their upgrades going. Right now you like to see that they're finding their spots and getting those open shots, especially if you're a scout, you notice these things. And the mismatch down low, not a chance. Big man on the point guard. Hawkins wants to attack that rim. Fakes going baseline, goes back, finds Moss. They're gonna reset it up top. Five seconds left, open mid-range for Hawkins, in and out. And again, these are the kind of shots that are going to go in once you start grinding for your player, as you'll see when you watch players who have been at it all season. And Manis puts it back up and in with less than a second left. And they're gonna go into halftime. It is a tight game. Spartans up by one point. This is absolutely anybody's game going into the second half. 
we get into this halftime show, we're going to get a chance to look at the individual players of the game so far alongside with the team stats. As you can see, pretty even along the board for most of these. The big men have been the determining factor, in, and that's what's going to happen in these games, especially with newer players who haven't got their shot yet. We're still going to be very inconsistent. And you're going to see these big men rebounding being the key factor to victory. And if these wings and guards can help with these rebounds, give your team second chance opportunities or not allow the opponents to have them, it can be the determining factor in who wins these type of games. I think we do this is going to be a low game going in, a low scoring game going into it. But so far, it has lived up to the competitive hype that I assumed there would be. That is a deep alley-oop attempt. I love that. That was so close to being one of the best alley-oops I've ever witnessed. That was an absolutely confident attempt for the alley-oop. Sometimes you got to try those. When you see your big man streaking to the rim and you're that far away, you have to try it. And the foul going to send lightning to the line. Reese Lightning, first free throw is in. Free throws in close games like these, so important. Barry's the second one. So we see Hawkins with the ball. Driving to the rim. Hambone, the defense too much, catches up to him, forces the miss. Reese Lightning lays it in. He got there ahead of everybody. Hawkins looking to bring his Tigers back into this game. In a small scoring drought right now. Being guarded by Lightning. Finds a wide open pool. That shot's no good. Rebound Adams. Lightning, no good, gets blocked on the second attempt, stripped. Now it's LSU's ball. Not giving a chance for the defense to set up. They find Moss under the rim for the lay-in. That breaks the cold streak for LSU. Good defense turning into offense. Grease, up top, gets it to Nigel. Nigel going to work. Gets by his man. Spins and lays it in. Nigel Hambone has been so impressive so far. Hawkins going straight at him. Gets stripped. Lightning has it in transition. They have numbers. Three on one. Corner. Three. In and out for Adams. Hawkins bringing it up on the other end. Now he's being guarded by Hambone. He might have the mismatch size-wise down low. Let's see if they get to it. They get to him, but he fades away. Had the opportunity to back down the much smaller man. Just didn't do it. Not his play style for Cole Poole. Hambone off the glass. No good. Almost in. Hardy. Gets it to Pool to Hawkins. Now Moss with nine seconds loses the ball. Adams has it in transition. The Spartans are going to get uh, at least one point, it would seem, out of this. Lightning has been one of their most automatic free throw machines this season. First one is in. And no good. Might have jinxed him there. Six point lead anyways for the Spartans. And that gets sent back by Wilcox. It's gonna remain LSU's ball though. Poole gets it to Moss for three. No good. 
And three is so tough for new players to make. But these, uh, these LSU boys have managed to find a lot of these open threes. Just haven't gone in for them. And there's the brilliant pass to, uh, to Hardy for a quick bucket. Trying to get back in this game. Don't want to let a big lead happen. Definitely don't want to allow them to get to double digits, which they were closing in on. Adams fakes. And through traffic, no good for Lightning, the much smaller player. One for nine now in this game. Just a lot of size on both of these teams. It really makes Grease Lightning sort of stick out, being undersized, trying to finish at the rim. And Hawkins being guarded by Lightning. Might try to take it to the rack. Pulls up mid-range, no good. Rebound by Longley, puts it up and in. Just like that, it's a two-point game again. Ben Adams. Most of his game is shooting the ball. And it's a ham bone illegal screen. It's gonna go back to the LSU Tigers. Moss with it. Moss gets by Hambone, but he catches up, blocks it in transition. Is the Spartans? What are they going to do? And that is an aggressive one-handed pass to the uh, to the corner. Nothing there though. They're going to reset. Hands it off to Hambone. The screen. Hambone fakes, goes the other way. Three. No good. Have to love that attempt. Humphrey gets him up in the air, lays it in. Beautiful move from the AI player Wilcox. Wilcox looking to be the difference maker so far. And Hawkins, two handed jam, beats everybody off the dribble, gets the traffic, uh, traffic congestion in the middle, and just walks by everybody almost. Beautiful from Elijah Hawkins. Now Ben Adams pulls up. That's where he makes his living is that pull-up jumper. A lot of players in the NCAA and the SBF like to try to be mid-range shooters but can't get a consistent shot down. So it's interesting to see Ben's, uh, Ben Adams try to become that mid-range shooter after being so successful from the arc. A lot of the times we normally see just threes from him, but when I see him do that mid-range shot, I feel like that's where he can make his living. And it is a two-point lead, and it is a close game throughout the entire thing. This has been a fun matchup so far. Down. Don't let him back your way in. Let's see if Nigel Hambone, Grease Lightning, and Ben Adams has what it takes. To finish off the newbies in Gerald Moss and Elijah Hawkins. The spin, beautiful by Hambone. Hambone has been so impressive so far. Hawkins bringing it up for his Tigers. Gets it to Hawkins, the screen. Pull up, no good. Rebound Longley. Goes up, that's no good. Driving, that's no good, but there's gonna be a foul. Grease Lightning has two free throws. First one rattles in. Reese Lightning has not had much luck so far from the floor, but he has been getting himself free throws. Driving through the contact, getting those calls has been invaluable for his team and been part of the reason they have the lead right now. Hawkins 
Pulls up mid-range, no good. Hambone <coughs> loses it almost, regathers it, goes up off the backboard, no good. And there's the cut, one hand jam from Longley. Right back down to four points. Reese Lightning, significant size disadvantage against the six foot, I believe six foot five Hawkins. Gets it to his big man, lays it in. LSU staying in this one. Spartans grinding it right now, using up that clock, trying to find the right shot. That's not it. Rebound Tigers, Tigers taking it. Hardy hands it off to Hawkins. Hawkins loses the ball, Kim, uh, continues to dribble though, he didn't pick it up. He's got five seconds now to work. He has the screen. He goes the opposite way, gets it to Moss. He's gonna be forced to shoot a desperation three that goes in! Moss buries the forced three. Put in a bad position and turned it into three points. Adams gets fouled. Chance to bring the lead back up to three. First shot is good. And that's gonna be the case as he sinks both of them. Gerald Moss has an opportunity now to tie the game up again or cut it down to one. Gets it to Longley under the rim, that's up and in. They have been finding this matchup. And you're gonna see a lot of assists for these big men coming from these guards. These guards both unselfish. And Ben Adams had the space for the three. Go up by four, but there's no good. Hawkins gets it to Longley. No good. Trying to feed the hot hand, can't hate, uh, can't hate that idea. Hambone, no good, gets his own rebound, puts it up in in off the glass. And that is what the Spartans needed. Something to try to shift the momentum back in their direction as they feel the Tigers clawing their way back into this game with two minutes left to go. And finding the man under the rim, it's Hawkins to Moss. Hambone drives, gets fouled on the way up by Longley, his fourth shooting foul. Two shots at the line for Nigel, makes the first one. Misses the second, it's still a two point game. It is crunch time now, a three for Moss, no good rebound Longley, who else? Puts it back up and in. It is a tied ball game, a minute 30 to go. Nothing there, Longley gets the rebound. Hawkins, being guarded by Lightning. Driving, finds Poole, up and in off the glass. LSU pulls away with the lead. It is hard not to panic right now if you're a Spartan as you see the momentum absolutely shifting in the direction of these Tigers. And now they have the ball, the chance to go up by two scores. And they're going to, good feed from Moss finds Poole. And now the Spartans find themselves in a place where they have to catch up. This is a must score possession. And that is why they're gonna take the time out here. 
a absolute collapse from these Spartans. No surprise at that player of the game. And the throw into Hambone. Hambone going straight at him. That's no good. And that could be game if they can't stop them here. Longley going up. It's in. Half to score here. You need either a quick two or three. There's the three from Nigel. No good. And they're going to foul. And that could very well be game as they're going to try to get it into Hawkins for his free throws. There's the foul. It is now a three possession game. We'll see what these Spartans do now. Quick three, maybe try to find somebody in the corner. And Hambone wipes out there. And that's going to be it. Spartans are waving the white flag, not going to foul. Ten seconds left to go in this game. And the Tigers coming away with a victory. This has been an exciting game. Hope you guys had fun. I know I did. Make sure to leave a comment. If you haven't already, let us know you were here. This has been Lions signing off.